Hello everyone, this is Northwind here. Welcome back to Shadowrun Returns. Uh, in the last episode, we did some uh, hacking. We went into the Matrix with uh, Johnny Clean and found out some new information about our uh, Ripper character and see if we can find out maybe who his psychiatrist is. I personally think that, his, uh, that he took over his psychiatrist and killed the psychiatrist and then took on his life. I think I may, like, jump the gun there. I think that actually might be what's going on. We're going to go check him out. He's currently working at Mercy Hospital, but I need to hire a team before I can do that. So we're going to talk to Mr. Delilah and hire a team. I need to hire a crew man. Okay, so what have we got here? I'm not quite 100% certain that these people are going to be the exact same people. Um, as in, I don't think they'll have the exact same people available. Uh, what's the Nephilim network? Alright, so different people, but it looks like they've got better, uh, they're not just adept, 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 decker, 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 mage, mage, rigor, rigor. I think I'd like to try out a rigor if possible. Um, I haven't seen anything else, so let's check out the riggers here. Combat decker. Combat rigor. Cyber Warrior. He's an initiate. He's a support mage. Tech mage. Tech master. Techno shaman. Urban shaman. Utility man. Weapon master. Let's get a smart gun. Can we see what his uh, skills are looking like? Ranged combat. Three, two, 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 one. He's not bad. What's this guy do? Oh, he's got a little bit of everything. He's a decker, a little spell casting, a little summoning, some ranged combat, some unarmed combat. Let's get a data jack, of course. This guy's got a data jack, he's got a cyber eyes, he's got some body armor. Uh, let's tech check out uh, who's this tech master guy what's he do he's got some pretty good ranged combat but nothing specialized he's more of a decker okay support mage let's see we've got uh, weaken armor heal wounds armor to haste to lightning barrier that's kind of awesome he has nothing really in terms of a uh, helping, you know, uh, to kill people, but... Yeah, seriously. Combat rigor. What's his rigging? She's not bad. Pretty good ranged combat. Cybertech arm. He's got a Class B drone. Smart linked gun. And a smoke trail. All right, you know what? Just in case. Oh, what did I do? Oh, I gotta add him. Oh, no wonder. I have 5,000 new yen. So I, I can get really good people here. Uh, Weapon Master, what was your thing again? You had really awesome gun abilities. Not bad armor. Action pool kind of sucks, but I guess that's kind of the par for the course here. Can I only take two of these guys? Oh, I guess so, because I don't have the ability to get anything else. Okay. Well, let's... What? Ooh, okay. That... That's interesting. Alright, well, let's get two... Samurais, then. Let's see what the difference is. Full Monty. Oh, you kind of suck, dude. Really? Alright, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take what's-his-face. Uh, the Weapon Master, Levi. And I think I don't need a Decker. I think I'll probably look and take a Shaman. 
she was pretty good, and she doesn't cost any money. She only has, like... Here we go. She has slow 2, mana bolt, haste 2. The haste was really helpful. I really liked that. What does this guy have? What's that? Air barrier. Haste 2 and silent. So I guess that makes it so that spellcasters can't cast. You can summon air elementals. She can summon nature elementals. And this one here, fog. Air barrier, haste 2. Quiet bomb. Fire, air. You know what? We're going to take Shannon Hapsky. She was kind of nice. We don't have anybody else that we can take, right? That doesn't cost any money? No. Alright, that's going to eat up a lot of money, but that's okay. Alright, we're going to go and confront Dr. Holmes now. The blood you found at the warehouse belongs to a man masquerading as one Dr. Holmes, and you've tracked him to Mercy Ho Mental Hospital, located in the notoriously anti-medic human farmlands of Snohomish. The drive to the hospital is long and unpleasant. Finally, you reach the Walden Gated Hospital compound. Despite the pretense of security, the gate is unguarded, unlocked, and open. No one stops or greets you as you drive up the large crumbling building. Uh, Rob 2. You don't drive up the building. Gothic ramparts top the damaged roof, cracked walls, and broken windows. All around the building is a lawn gone wild. Only the artificial light from within speaks of inhabitants. You walk up to the hospital steps to confront Sam Watt's killer and bring an end to the Emerald City Ripper. All right. Well, this may actually be the end of this particular... Um, th this particular uh, campaign. Um... I do have the ability to do this. Okay, what do you got here? Drone repair kits. Okay. Uh, you need extra stuff, because I f guarantee you're going to get hit. So, these are basic. What? Unequipped? No, I don't want to unequipped. Oh, okay. Can I... I guess I can't have more than that kind of stuff in there. That's unpleasant. And I guess she doesn't have anything. So let's see if I can fit any more in here. Doesn't look like it. Archon, you are loaded for bear. Alright. Uh, what do I have in terms of spells that I could include? Ah, I think we're good. We die, we die. At least we die doing something important for the city. What is going on? Yeah, I know we auto saved. Here we go. New objective investigate Mercy Mental Hospital. Oh, the receptionist. Hello, we're looking for a murderer. Welcome, sir. What business brings you to Mer Mercy Mental Hospital? I'm here to see Holmes. Dr. Holmes. Ah, new customer. Please wait in the wait common room up ahead. I'll notify the good doctor. Excellent. Let's head on through here. Please stay within the cafeteria. I'm assuming this place with the chairs is the cafeteria. What do we have here? Lorraine. Hello, Lorraine. Hey, guy. Have you seen Josie? Don't think so. I know, right? I haven't seen him in days. Dr. Philippe told me not to worry about it. He says I worry too much. But who am I supposed to play chess with? Donnie over there can't suss more than a match four. Then match four? What's so important about... You know, Josie sounds like quite a guy. What's he look like? Well, he's big, and he's got a big gold ring. The doctors let him keep it when he got here. Sometimes he lords it over us. But I'm sure if I had a ring like that, I would do the same. He says he won't... He says he won it playing for the Screamers in the Super Brawl years back. Oh, Urban Brawl, that's a rough profession. Not too rough for Josie. He says he went whole seasons without any injuries. He was usually playing Outrider, though. Will you at least help me look for him? I have this key I swiped off the day guard, but they keep a close eye on us. You could take a peek in the infirmary and see if there's a record or something. He might just be a cool-off room they won't tell me. Yeah. 
I can do that for you. Yes, not like my mom. Aw, that's sad. Alright, I have an infirmary key. Let's go talk to Donnie. Hi, Donnie. Hello, stranger. You look new here. Are you new here? I'm Archon. Who are you? Name's Donnie. That's my name. Donnie. D-O-N-N-Y. I know I didn't recognize you. I know everybody in this place. Everybody. Well, everybody on the first two floors. Any I should, anyone I should look out for, Donnie? No, not on this floor. Only us calm ones are allowed up in the cafeteria. If you're violent, you have to eat in your room. All right, I'm looking for Dr. Holmes. Ooh, I don't, I don't think you really want that. Not really. What's that supposed to mean? Around here, you don't want to attract the attention of the doctor. If you stay quiet, life is much easier. Much easier. Doing a health and safety check for the corporate office. Well, you don't want to talk to me. I don't work here. I'm not crazy enough for that. I should go. Okay, let's see if we can find some of those things that were around here. What's this? The clock stopped, probably displaying a time from 40 years ago. Okay, what about this? It's an automated medication dispensary. It doesn't recognize you, so nothing happens. Alright, well... I've got a key. should probably get into the infirmary. But I don't think that's the infirmary. Infirmary's probably over here or over there. Yeah, I can go this way. I love the fact that I've got this little crew running behind me now. All those... What are they called? Uh, uh, combat drones. The stench of blood and mold gets ever stronger as you move closer into the infirmary. That's not good. Uh, we've got lots of stuff over here, and there's an arm on the ground. Alright, let's take whatever's in here. Patient information for Josiah C. Dawson is open on the cyber terminal. Read the medical history. Alright, born 2015. Hey, happy birthday a couple months ago. Uh, alright, what's uh, post-traumatic stress disorder? He's deceased! That's not good. Patient had undocumented cyber in the left arm, as well as multiple pieces of shrapnel in various locations. Complications would likely arise if transplanted to another host. The rest of the body is in excellent condition and can be used to improve other subjects, as well as some custom requests. Ooh, that's not good. All right, well, let's check out this stuff. A severed arm lies next to a ziplock bag, a zipped body bag. The arm looks human and appears neatly severed at the elbow. There's a large gold ring on the index finger. The owner is probably the occupant of the bag. Well, we're going to take the ring. Slip the heavy ring off the cold finger and feel its weight in your hand. Inside is the engraving. It reads Screamers 2048. All right. Surgical cart is strewn with gruesome tools, motorized saws, and metal vices. You find an unlabeled trivet disc. So I'm not sure if that's trivet or trivet. I, I, I didn't catch the last part. I wasn't fast enough. All right, well, it's clear that he died. We need to go back and talk to Lorraine. Give her the ring. So that way she can load it over the other patients. So, did you see anything? I'm not sure how to put this. Oh, yeah, sorry, Lorraine. Scratchy PA system. Attention, Archon, please report to the North Hall to meet with your administrator. What the heck is going on? I gained two karma. See, I was looking at my karma. I've got so much... I've got so much stuff in my willpower that I doubt I need more. So I'm trying to think if there's something else that I could use, but I'm not really using anything other than magic and the occasional, occasional um, uh, med kit. But uh, let's see here. Body increases my hit points. I get an extra 10 hit points. So if I add that, I'm effectively adding a lot more survivability. What I really want is another, uh, I really want another, uh, 
action point. I don't even know how you can do that other than getting cyberware. So the question is, do I save it and boost up my willpower when I get four more? Well, I don't think I'll have the ability to do that because I'd need to have... I would need to have 13 more just to get up spellcasting maxed out. Um... That's the Matrix stuff. I don't need that. I don't need that. What about... Strength determines how far a grenade can be thrown. I'm not really using that. Dodge. Dodge would be nice. I'm gonna do that. We'll do dodge. That'll give me some, some survivability there. I said, I really think I'm getting close to, to being done with this campaign. Let's talk to the good doctor. The elf standing before you may be quite possibly the ugliest elf you've ever seen. Hey, I know this guy. This is the guy from the other murder. Good day to you. How can I help you? Let's see. Dr. Holmes, I presume. You're a hard man to reach, especially considering you're dead. I'm sorry, who's dead? Hank's genuinely confused, but he can't seem to drop the smile from his lips. Alright. The only trail I see is the one that you have left in your own wake. In fact, I believe the Ripper may be standing right in front of me. Guards! Oh no. We've got more guards. He's running. Ooh. Oh, that's the drone. That's okay. I've got a repair kit for drones. Whoa, you are fast, dude. Seriously. Uh, we're gonna attack you with what? Blindness. Uh... Nah, we're just gonna kill him. Lightning bolt! Uh... Flamethrower. 20 damage, wow. What do you have? You've got a gun. Sorry, dude. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, where am I supposed to go with this guy? Go over here, then. Um, are we done? Pick up this thing. I hadn't picked up the guard's key. Alright, well, let's go in here. I have a feeling there's going to be more guards over here. Yep, um... Can you reach him from here? No. Uh, let's actually... Let's actually cast haste. Can I cast haste? No, because I shot. Well, let's shoot him again. Hey, did a little bit. Holy crap! Even from that far away. Uh, flamethrower, fireball. I gotta use that before the game is, before this campaign is over. Let's just use powerball. Holy cow! Really? Seriously? That's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna go here. You're gonna try to shoot this guy. Nope. Where'd the shot, though? Okay, now I shoot him. There we go. Uh, we're gonna cast haste, because I need haste on somebody. Cast haste on Archon. Alright, and then Archon is gonna travel forward. Let's get him somewhere. Okay, we've got some nasty looking dude up there. The nearby intercom speaker crackles to life. The voice of Dr. Holmes begins to blare from it. Attention all personnel. We have a dangerous patient loose inside the facility. Subject is a male human that may be coordinating with other violent offenders. Use all necessary force. 
This isn't good. Alright, well, I can't get in there because it's locked, so I might as well come over here. No, no, I don't want to exit anyone from the scene. Uh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Uh, up here. Justin, you are fast. I'm going to send you over here. See if we can find anything else out here. Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's take her out of here. Not enough AP. There's all these doors that I would rather go out of. Okay, let's try to get out of here then. I guess he can't do anything yet. Okay, there we go. I guess we gotta go to another floor. Guess so. Okay. Okay. Alright, I think that's gonna be the end of this episode. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. I'll uh, see you in the next episode. Bye now.